हेलो कोडेट्स वेलकम टू लेवल अप विथ कोडिंग टुडे आई विल बी डिस्कसिंग द प्रॉब्लम डबल वन थ्री सेवेन एन एथ ट्रिबोनसी नंबर लेट अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट द प्रॉब्लम इज द प्रॉब्लम इज सेइंग दैट यू हैव ए गिवन एन सीरीज दैट मींस यू हैव ए गिवन ए ट्रिबोनसी सीरीज एंड यू हैव टू फाइंड द एन एथ ट्रिबोनसी नंबर व्हाट इज द एन एथ ट्रिबोनसी नंबर एंड इन दिस क्वेश्चन इट इज मैंशन दैट द जीरो ट्रिबोनसी नंबर इज जीरो एंड द फर्स्ट ट्रिबोनसी नंबर इज वन एंड द सेकेंड ट्रिबोनसी नंबर इज ऑल्सो वन एंड एंड द ट्रिबोनसी सिक्वेंस इक्वेशन इज दैट फॉर ट्रिबोनसी नंबर एन प्लस थ्री इट विल बी द साम ऑफ एन प्लस टू प्लस साम ऑफ एन प्लस वन प्लस टी ऑफ एन एंड दिस इज द इक्वेशन टू फाइंडिंग द ट्रिबोनसी सीरीज That means Tibonacci nth number. That means for n plus threeth number, the Tibonacci uh, number will be n plus twoth Tibonacci number, n plus n plus oneth Tibonacci number, and nth Tibonacci number. And in this question, what I have to find? I have to find what is the nth Tibonacci number. And in this question, the n n will be input from that input. So if I said that what is the first Tibonacci number? That means What is the zeroth Tibonacci number? So zeroth Tibonacci number will be zero. What is the first Tibonacci number? The first Tibonacci number will be one. And what is the second Tibonacci number? Second Tibonacci number also be one. But if I said that what is the third Tibonacci number? For third Tibonacci number, it will be sum of Tibonacci number two, Tibonacci number one, and Tibonacci number zero. That means the third Tibonacci number will be. One plus one plus zero. That means two. In this way, we have to find what is the nth Tibonacci number. Okay. So T zero, T one, and T two in this question are given. I and I have to find what is the value of T n, and n will be from the input. I think the question is clear now. Okay. So let's understand how we'll solve. We know what is the value of T zero, T one, and T two. Okay. So if I need to find what is the value of t3, what will be doing? We just sum up t0, t1, and t2, and by summing t0, t1, and t2, we will easily find t3. But after that, if I said that what is the value of t4, how we'll solve? We just eliminate one value from before. That means we just eliminate t0 and add t3. Now we will find t4 value because for t3, uh, for t4 we have to find sum of t1, t2, and t3. By this way we can find. Okay, I think the approach is clear. That we just uh, have to find what is the sum of uh, last three element. That means for n, what is the sum value of n minus one, n minus two, and n minus three? And we have to sum that value. And by this way we can uh, able to find what is the value of t n. Okay. First, understand uh, the code, and I think after the coding, this will be more clear. Okay. First, understand what uh, we will be doing. I know the value of t0, t1, and t2, but if I say that what is the value of t0, I know the value. So if I say that what is the value of t0, I simply return zero, because if n is zero, so I have to return the value of t0. But if I say what is the value of t1? Or if I say what is the value of t2, I also know the value, so I just simply return one. But in other case, what I have to do? I have to sum up last previous three previous uh, number. That means if I know that my t0 is zero, my t1 is one, and my t2 is also one. But if I say what is the value of t3, I can simply say that the my value of t3 will be t1, t2 plus t1. Plus t zero, but what is the value of t four? My value of t four will be t one. Uh, my value of t four will be t three plus t two plus t one. By this way, we have to calculate the value. But let observe one thing that whenever we finding the value of t three, we just adding t one, t two, and t zero. But whenever we finding t four, we just adding t T three, T two, T one, but we are eliminating T zero. That means in each step we have to eliminate the uh, 
most last digit most last uh, term and we have to add the current term in my summation that means if i say that what is the value of tn what i have to do i know that the value of t0 t1 and t2 and i have to find what is the value of tn so what we will be doing we will be say that my value is t0 t1 t2 but after finding that value we have to change the t0 t1 t2 because we don't have to hard code it because because we have to generalize the formula because you have to find uh, the inner term we have to just iterate through a loop and this will be for n minus 2 okay why n minus 2 i will explain let uh, let give me uh, some time so my now my t0 will be t1 and my t1 will be t2 and my uh, t2 will be my current in that way i will find the what is the value of uh, nth term and my t2 will be give the answer how let assume that i am finding for 5 n5 n equal to 5 so what i know i know t0 is 0 t1 is 1 t2 is 1 what is the value of t3 t3 will be sum of these three number what is the sum this will be 2 what is the value of t4 t4 will be sum of these three number what is the what is the sum sum is 4 and what is the value of t5 t5 will be sum of last three digit what is the last three digit last three digits are that that means the sum will be four uh, no not uh, not that the last three digits is four to one that means the sum will be seven and this is the value of t5 this is the value of t5 so what we will doing for n3 how many times we are uh, iterating that means how many times we are processing with the statement that means for n3 we are processing with three times that means this is one times two three times that means for five we are iterating for three times that means for n we are iterating for n minus one time that's why i am iterating to n minus one time and each step observe we are eliminating one thing first step we are assuming that uh, these three are my answer then in the second step we eliminating these steps and adding these three in second step step we eliminating in second step we eliminating this one and adding these three and that's why i am find uh, the, this way i am uh, able to find what is the value of tn okay so we can't and un just eliminate say eliminate uh, this will not happen right so what i am doing i just i know that this is t0 this is t1 this is t2 and after each step what i am doing i am saying that my t2 my t1 is t0 my t2 is t1 and my t2 is my current value and this way we moving um, we eliminating zero and moving forward i think the approach is clear so after that what will be my answer my answer will be t2 because in the t2 my current value is stored okay so i just simply return t2 this will give me answer okay let's submit the solution yeah it accepted and let's submit it yeah it bit 100 percent in case you liked our video make sure that you subscribe our channel and share with your friends and stay connected with us thank you